The China-Philippines dispute over a grounded warship escalates further, as Beijing once again urges Manila to remove the vessel, a relic from World War II now functioning as a military outpost, from a contested shoal on August 8th. The Philippines rejects China's renewed demand, marking a significant development in an ongoing conflict over the South China Sea. Recent tensions between the two neighboring nations have intensified during the presidency of Ferdinand Marcos Jr., prompting the Philippines to reestablish ties with the United States, a nation supporting its maritime claims against China. China's embassy in Manila criticizes the United States for gathering its allies to amplify the South China Sea issue, branding it as an attempt to cause discord rather than addressing regional concerns. The embassy emphasizes that the South China Sea should not be treated as a mere safari park for non-regional countries to exploit, asserting that external interference only fuels conflict. Within the Philippines' exclusive economic zone, the Second Thomas Shoal houses a small contingent of troops residing on the grounded warship Sierra Madre, strategically positioned to bolster the Philippines' territorial claims since its deliberate grounding in 1999. The Philippines repeatedly accuses the Chinese Coast Guard of obstructing resupply missions to its troops stationed on the shoal. An incident on August 5th involved the Chinese Coast Guard spraying a Philippine vessel with water cannons. China contends that the Philippines' presence on the shoal is unlawful, with tensions escalating due to different claims over territorial sovereignty. The Philippine military labels the Chinese Coast Guard's actions as excessive and offensive, while China characterizes its response as a warning, highlighting its commitment to exercising rational restraint. China's defense ministry calls on Manila to cease provocative actions and affirms its determination to take necessary steps to safeguard its sovereignty and maritime rights. Security analysts suggest that China's maneuvers around the atoll are driven by a desire to gain control over Second Thomas Shoal, also known as Renai Reef, and Ayanjin in Manila. Experts stress the importance of re-establishing control over the shoal to safeguard resupply efforts, as vulnerability to coercive tactics could compromise operations. Both Rommel Ong, a maritime security expert and retired vice commander of the Philippine Navy, and Colin Ko, a security fellow, emphasized China's hesitance to employ direct force due to the potential implications of invoking the 1951 U.S.-Philippines Mutual Defense Treaty. Concerns arise over China's expansive claims in the South China Sea, which overlap with the exclusive economic zones of neighboring countries such as Malaysia, Vietnam, Brunei, Taiwan, and the Philippines. Japan and France expressed their unease through their embassies in Manila, reiterating their support for a 2016 arbitral ruling that invalidated China's extensive territorial assertions in the South China Sea. U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin engages in a conversation with Philippines Defense Secretary Gilbert Teodoro, reinforcing the alliance between the two nations amid the escalating tensions. Remember to subscribe.